thank you for the hearts. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad you're here. The project tonight is fabulous. It's home decor for the holidays, not just Christmas and Hanukkah and Thanksgiving, but any holiday. And you can use this for any type of occasion. You can use it for a wedding decoration. You can use it to decorate for a birthday. You can use it for so many things. Let me tell you what you're going to need. You are going to need. Let me turn my, my uh, phone around. I hope you can see. You're going to need tape. Any type of tape. Just tape because you're only going to need a very little bit. You're going to need scissors, and you know my favorite color is peaches and oranges, so I have my orange handle scissors. This little pad will be just great. And you're going to need newspaper, any type of newspaper. You're going to need newspaper, and you're going to need decorative ribbon because you're going to make a wreath. Now, let me share with you th about this ribbon. I got this ribbon. You see, it is gorgeous. Absolutely fabulous. From the Sam's Club. I don't know if you're able to see it. 25 yards for less than $7. And it is 5 inches wide. It has this beautiful glitter design on it. I think it is fabulous. You're going to also need, which may surprise you, you're going to need clothes hanger. Now this is just a regular wire coat hanger that you get from the cleaners when your clothes are in the dry cleaners. You can have white or you can have the black. It doesn't matter as long as it's a wire hanger. Now let's get started. I'm going to move the camera away from me tonight to share with you what we're going to do with the hanger. This is what you're going to need first. You're going to take the hanger and you're going to stretch it until you get a circle. Now, it doesn't matter if the circle is a beautiful round circle or not. You're just trying to get the form of something that's circular. Do the best you can at bending the coat hanger. Let me show you one that I've completed. That is this one. This one, you see, is not accurate, but it's fine. I bent it as best that I could into a circle. This is going to be your reef form. And you're going to start right at the hook. Let me start this one for you, and I'll take you. We're going to put the form down. You're going to take your newspaper. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. I have these little papers. You're going to fold it and crease it and tear it. I'm sorry, let me get something. I have a cold, I'm sorry, but I just got to share this with you. And I tore the paper in half. Then you're going to fold it on the natural fold, crease it with your nail, it's fine. And tear it, tear the paper, just like that. You're going to need lots of these. Take it, and I'm using it the long way, you see? Now, if you have the large regular paper, you can tear it in half on the natural fold and then tear it on the natural fold again. So out of one big sheet, you're going to get four pieces. You're going to take one piece and you're just going to wrinkle it in the middle. It's nothing fancy. Just wrinkle it. Take your, hang your coat hanger that you've made into a round shape and you're going to, you see? I placed it inside. I'm going to bring it up together to where it's just about the same height. Just folded it up. You're going to take the piece 
in your right hand, and it's going to end up in your left hand. Just wrap it all the way around, just like that. Just wrap it, and then push it as close to that hook as you can get it. See, the hook is still there. You're just going to press this as close to that hook as you can get it. You're going to take your next piece, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to wrinkle it in the center. Nothing special. Place it underneath. Bring it together. And you're going to thank you for the heart. You're going to wrap it around. And you're going to press it forward. Now, when you get six or seven pieces on your wire form, you're going to need a piece of tape. Take the tape and just a little piece and you're going to secure that sixth or seventh one with the tape onto the wire form just to make certain that it won't, won't move. Now you're going to really press these forward. They are going to be bunched together and that's what gives you the Ripley design. Now let me share with you one that I've done almost halfway. Here it is. You see the design? Isn't that beautiful? I just love them. Now you see? This is the hook. That's where I started. And this is how much I have left to go. You see? And this is the way it looks. It gives you this beautiful, wrinkly, wavy design that gives that ripple effect that's absolutely gorgeous. I love them. As I told you, I must have made a thousand of these in my lifetime. I've used them to decorate weddings. You can spray paint them the color of the wedding uh, decor. You can spray them with spray adhesive and sprinkle glitter on them for Thanksgiving. You can spray it orange all over with spray paint and you can place a little pumpkin or you can place a uh, turkey in the center of your reef. And you see your reef comes already equipped with the hanger to hang and you have this beautiful rippling. If you want to leave it just the newspapers is wonderful and all you have to do is add a bow now let me share with you this one this one is totally completed i hope you can see it you see here's the hanger that's the hook right there and look look at the ripples i just love it i'm just like a kid i love them and you just manipulate the papers so one side is flat. You see, you can press it around, making this side kind of flat. That's what's going to hang on the door. Or, if you're going to use it to decorate at a wedding, you sit it on the table like this, and then your tall vase of a floral arrangement can sit right in the center. And it's a large, beautiful... A table centerpiece that you don't have to spend a lot of money for. And you can make it as extravagant as you wish. If you're going to use it on the table as a centerpiece, just make certain that you bring the papers up and hide your clothes hanging hook. Just, just wrinkle it up. You can manipulate the paper, but it's still going to have this magnificent ripple effect. And they are large. I don't know if you can see. You see? See how large it is? That's my hand. Isn't it beautiful? They are exquisite. Now let me show you this one. Oh, before I do that, that ribbon that I got from the, the Sam's Club, you see it? Sam's Prices has allowed us this season 
to make opulent bows like you only see in the magazines. And you see, just adhere that beautiful bow to the hanger, the hook part. And there you go. You have your holiday wreath. And see, you prevented this paper from being wasted. You've used it. Can you see the glitter in the bow? Oh, it's exquisite. I love this ribbon. Now let me share this with you. I'm sorry to keep leaving the camera. You see this? Oh my goodness. You see it? It's huge. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Here is the hook. Right here. You see, it's a clothes hanger. It's white. But look, look at the ripples. Oh, they are massive. Let me tell you what happened. My girlfriend gave me a ream of this massive white paper. And it's a little stiff. It's not as stiff as cardstock, but it's stiff. And my husband said, what are you going to do with it? I made this opulent wreath. Isn't it gorgeous? I'm going to hang this on my door for the holidays, for Christmas. And look, look at the ripples. The ripples. It's huge. I can't even get it in the phone for you to see it. But let me see. There you go. I hope you can see it. See? That's the wreath. And you can manipulate the paper. So you can have a side that's kind of flat to lean against the wall or if you're hanging it on your door. And let me show you. This is the ribbon. Can you see? This is the ribbon in red. And look at it on the white. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to make a huge bow like you see in the magazine. Like I said, this year, Sam's Club has given us the opportunity to have the opulent bows like we see in the magazines. Can you see the glitter? Oh, it's exquisite. And they have all types of ribbon for your Hanukkah decorations. They had beautiful blue glitter ribbons. And this ribbon also is five inches wide and you see you can make your bow see i'm gonna have two on this side and i'm gonna have two on this side and i'm gonna open it up and make a beautiful huge bow and then i'm gonna leave the tail long and weave it through the wreath it's gonna be gorgeous and you know what else you can also glue in your wreath some plain ornaments if you're going to use it for the Christmas holidays. This is a wonderful craft project. I hope you'll give it a try because you can use it for so many things. If you're going to use it for a birthday party, you can hot glue party hats and the uh, whistles and balloons all around the wreath and hang it as a beautiful happy birthday to a member of your family or you can lay it on the table use it as a centerpiece and you can put the punch bowl in the center whatever you'd like to do with it it's very versatile i hope you've enjoyed this craft now thursday at 11 11 at gotta be handmade I'm going to share with you a craft project that is a great gift for the man in your life. So I hope you join me and please share so others will come and spend a little late night crafting with us. Because you know, for the best, it's just got to be handmade. Good night.